Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to fix Bluestacks app player if it's not opening. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Say, for example, you open up the Bluestacks 5 player or other Bluestacks release. Okay. You double click on it, it's not opening. Well, the first fix here is just go ahead and locate Bluestacks multi instance manager. Okay. If you can't find it right here on your desktop, go ahead and go to your search bar. Now type in Bluestacks. Now once that's done, click on Bluestacks Multi Instance Manager. Click on it and wait for it to load. Now once it loads, go ahead and locate your player, for example this one. Now go ahead and click on the gear icon beside it. Now in here, CPU allocation. Now if you have an 8 core CPU, you can go ahead and use 4 cores, okay? Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go ahead and right click on a blank space right here onto your taskbar, right click and click on task manager. Okay. I'm going to maximize this one. Now go ahead over to the performance tab, click on it. And here we have the CPU memory and the graphics card here as well. Now CPU, as you can see here, I do have an eight core processor. Okay. So what we're going to use here is four cores. It's half of my CPU. Okay. Now under memory allocation, I've used eight gig, but as you can see here under my uh, task manager or performance tab under task manager, I have a 32 gigs. Okay. Right here at the top, right? 32 gigs. Now half of that is 16. If I want to, I can go ahead and use 16 by clicking on custom. But as you can see here, I'm currently recording. So I'm just using eight gigs as this one works perfectly fine. Okay. Now, if your memory or RAM only got a 16 gig, use 8 gig. If you have 8 gig memory, use 4 gigs. Okay. Once that's done, frame rate right here it depends on you. Now, just go ahead and go to graphics. Make sure that you use OpenGL for now and the interface renderer is either auto or OpenGL as well. Now, if you want to use DirectX, make sure that you have a graphics card. Okay. Select DirectX and from here, Make sure that DirectX is selected as well. Now, once done, just hit on Save Changes, launch BlueStacks again, and everything should work perfectly fine now. Now, what if that still won't work? Now, go ahead and go to your search bar and type in Graphics. Once the Graphics setting pops up, click on it. I'm going to maximize this one. Now, make sure that Optimizations for Windows Games is on. Advanced Graphics Settings, click on the drop down. Make sure that Hardware Accelerated GPU is turned on as well. Now scroll down in here, make sure that blue stacks, okay, click on the drop down, is set to high performance. Okay. Once that's done, close this one and launch blue stacks from multi instance manager. Start it from here and it should work. Now if that still won't work, go ahead and create a new instance. Okay. Fresh instance. Select a different version. Okay. Wait for it to download. And once done, start it and you're good to go. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.